Chris here to do another episode of Tire Side Chat. Uh, today we are going to be looking at phase two of Sea Cleaner. We're going to take a look at, I don't know exactly how, I hate to say that ahead of time because then I'll get on a roll and I'll, I'll go through more than I said I was going to go through. So we're just going to kind of let things flow and uh, ch start checking out this program. You know, last video we talked about how to find it, how to download it, and how to install it. And so we accomplished that. And so we're going to start looking at how the program actually works and a few tips and tricks. Actually, there's not very many tips and tricks with CCleaner. It's a pretty straightforward program. So, But anyway, let's get into that, okay? Let's get to it. We take our mouse cursor, move it over CCleaner, double click, and voila, we have full screen CCleaner. So I really don't want to spend a whole lot of time going over these options. Um, I think the reason being I don't want to make this overly complicated. So let's just stipulate that everything, if you'll follow my mouse cursor, that everything I've got checked here is the right thing to check and everything that I don't have checked here is the right thing to leave unchecked. I think what you have to understand about CCleaner, it is merely a front end for performing various Windows command line commands. And so everything you see checked here that CCleaner is going to take care of, if you were familiar with Windows command line, then you could go into that. In other words, let me open up a command line. So we go to search command and of course we want to run that as an administrator and we want to say yes when UAC asks. And so this is a command line and so here we have a prompt C Windows System 32. There are some temporary internet files and they are stored in a specific place on your hard drive within within the Windows operating system. You can actually navigate to that directory and perform a delete command and take care of those. Same thing with history, cookies, everything on this list. If you know where it is and how to delete it and how to delete it 100% then yes you can do that. But this series of videos is really not geared towards people who have that kind of experience with computers. This is geared more towards those who are just beginning or those who have gotten themselves into a jam and want to figure out how to fig how to clean up their computer uh, without you know giving it someone else who may or may not be competent enough to clean it and giving them a lot of money for work that might or might not be done. I mean, so, you know, this is what this is all geared towards, is helping you become more confident in your own ability to clean up your computer if you've done something to screw it up. And so, let's forget about C Windows System32 command exe for now. If you get that far and you want to explore it on your own, good for you. I mean, really, honestly, good for you. I am still, I'm by far not an expert on the command line, but I've learned a few tricks over the years. And I use them when they're the best method for me, but utilities such as CCleaner make things a whole lot easier for me too. So <clears throat> so just, you know, a little background anyway. And so all these things that I've checked here, you really don't need to understand what they are. You don't really un need to understand what they do. What you do need to understand is, is that if you check these little boxes and you follow my mouse cursor down to the lower right hand corner of the screen, when you click on Run C Cleaner, what you want to know is, is it going to work? And I can, I am happy to tell you that I have never 
ever cleaned a computer running CCleaner and had CCleaner mess up the computer in any way, shape, or form. It just simply does what it does, and then you're done. So, so all these options here and on the left, you know what? It, it would be good once you download CCleaner. Hey, do do some Google searches, figure out what it's doing. But for now, don't worry about it. Just hit, just move your cursor to Run Cleaner and run your cleaner. And then it will say, it will give you this warning. Do you, this process will permanently delete files from your system. Are you sure you want to proceed? You can check, don't show me this message again. I leave it unchecked. It's just a reminder. You hit OK. Runs through my computer very, fairly quickly. Oh, six, almost six and a half gigabytes. I, I know it's gigabytes. I don't care. Gigabytes of information was just deleted from my computer. And, and you can go down and review what was deleted. So obviously, I'm not an Internet Explorer fan because not many gigabytes of files were deleted. Got a lot of recycle bin stuff. Got a lot of temporary files. Google Chrome got a lot of that. And some other things. Not that big a deal. <coughs> I think it's important to realize if you hit the following, following me again to the lower right hand corner of the screen. If you hit run cleaner then what you see here is done. If you hit analyze it's not done. And so you might want to think about that, but again, it's CCleaner, it's foolproof. So just run the cleaner. And so, yeah, I think that pretty much concludes our first foray into the various functions of CCleaner. As you can see, we have five options here in the left, most left-hand pane. Of course, upgrade pretty much speaks for itself. So we really have one, two, three more real videos to do on this. But I hope that helped you. Oh, excuse me, I'm, I almost forgot. You have the Windows options, you have application options. Of course, I would not change any of these. I would just leave them the way they are. Trust CCleaner, trust the people who wrote this program to have chosen the right options for you. Just do that. And uh, so for Windows, choose the options that I've chosen because I'm telling you from experience that they work. Uh, I do not, I personally do not change the application options. I leave them the way they are. Never run into any trouble at all. So until next time, when we go over the registry aspect of CCleaner, and maybe more, I don't know. The registry uh, option is pretty simple. We might get into some tools, but I'm not going to make any promises because I don't want to get ahead of myself. So anyway, until next time, happy computing.